armored core law. The 047 AND. The 047 AND birth came from the Bernard and Felix Foundation before the National Dismantlement War and would go on to be used by the famous Mary Shelley, whose combat style and his craft would help shape BFF's corporation's philosophy. It's best described as a middleweight craft built specifically as a long range sniper and a support unit. To achieve these goals, it is equipped with a long range FCS, the 047 AND, a long range sniper rifle the 047 ASNR for heavy damage, and a mid to short range assault rifle, the 051 ANNR, to allow the craft to keep the pressure on while its sniper rifle reloads. This loadout however is the company standard from the National Dismantlement War and the destruction of BFF during the Lynx War. After this, the 047 AN can still be built, however it does not come with any weapons, as such a Lynx will have to decide what to equip. But before we dive into the insides of the craft that shaped a corporation, there are a few notable links that should be studied if one wishes to learn how to best use this craft. The first and most recommended is Mary Shelley, the original that made the 047 Anne a legend in the National Dismantlement War as a raven killer. The other suggested links to study would be Francesca and her 047 Anne, Helix 1. Though a Lynx should note that she usually worked with her brother who piloted a heavier and more firepowered river next. With this in mind, we now come to ask, how does this craft handle? What can a Lynx expect if they choose the 047 Anne? If a Lynx climbs into one during the brewing of the Lynx War in Armored Core 4, the 047 Anne is flexible with its energy usage and movement capabilities. Being an X that is middleweight and using only ballistic weapons, this craft is able to fly and hover for a good period of time before needing to land, making it suitable for short term air combat. Dodging with this next is not consuming on the energy either, allowing this craft to make space between itself and its foes, but also dodge slower projectiles such as bazooka shots. To add to this, the O47 AN has a fast recovery period after its energy is used up, allowing the sniper unit to flee back to a safe distance should they find themselves being drawn into close range combat. Speaking of distance, the true purpose of this neck shines when put at the right distance. Being a sniper, a Lynx will find the sniper rifle, the 047 ASNR, being the hard hitting damage weapon of this craft. Being able to be used at mid to long range, it was clear in testing that this weapon is what will be dealing the high damage required to take down nexts and offers a Lynx good accuracy even at long distance. However, should a Lynx feel this sniper rifle lacks in areas, it is suggested, like Mary Shelley, that a Lynx switch out to the 047 ANSR for the 050 ANSR, a true sniper rifle in all ways, but this will force a Lynx to really keep distance, due to the weapon's nature that makes it difficult to use at close range. Not to be outshined, the 051 ANNR rifle is the best support weapon a Lynx could ask for on the 047 AN. Its fire rate is fair, allowing a Lynx to keep the pressure on its foes while its sniper rifle reloads. Its accuracy also means it can maintain a steady hit rate, even when at the distances of sniper rifles, and the damage output is certainly able to deal good damage to any foe, close or far away. In fact, should a Lynx find sniping not to be their calling, they could swap out the sniper rifle for another 051 rifle, like Francesca did, allowing this craft to be a fast Nex with good damage output but still need to be cautious of heavily armoured nexts. Backing up all these weapons is the long range FCS, the 047 and 05, a very good long range radar, which will allow a sniping lynx to keep an eye on the battlefield at all times. It's this radar that will help the lynx keep an eye on its foes no matter where they are. Still, as much as one can praise the 047 and, it does have some glaring weaknesses that a lynx should be aware of, the first being its low defences as a few hits from heavier weapons will see the armour points of this Nex fall rapidly. Though a Lynx should not treat this Nex like it's made of glass, as it can take hits, but it would much prefer to stay well back and snipe its foes without the threat of return fire. A Lynx should also be aware that missiles are a great concern to the O47 AN, as unless the craft is shooting them down or rapidly avoiding, fast missiles will catch up to this craft and cause good damage. A final point to note is that the 047 AN does struggle against heavily armoured nexts. The distance its weapon needs versus an armoured next results in rather shocking low damage values, as found during testing. 
Sometimes the powerful sniper rifle will only produce a low 246 points of damage unless it is brought close to the armoured necks, which puts the craft and its links in danger. In conclusion, the O47 AN really does what it says on the tin. It's a next for a lynx that wants to keep away from the fight, picking off its foes with long range sniper shots and using the rifle to keep a foe back should they try to engage in close combat. This ends the report on the next, known as the O47 AN.